Intel finally announces their Ice Lake 10 nanometer chips coming up on Split Second Tech. What's going on everybody? Intel has finally announced their new 10 nanometer chip lineup under the name of Ice Lake. These chips are going to be primarily used in mobile devices based off of the Sunny Cove architecture, giving us sleeker and more powerful laptops and two-in-ones. These chips provide us with an 18% increase of IPC, will arrive in a Core i3, i5, and i7 as usual, and give us a TDP of 9 watts, 15 watts, and 28 watts. Features up to four cores and eight threads, up to eight megabytes of cache, and a 4.1 boost clock. These improvements could give us a consistent considerably longer battery life without sacrificing performance. Intel's new architecture will provide the native support for Wi-Fi 6 as well as give us the first processor to natively support Thunderbolt allowing us for faster transfer speeds and be a big part of the USB 4.0 standard. With almost a 2% increase above the 8th gen CPUs, the Iris Plus graphics give us a nice little bump of performance averaging around 80 frames per second on CSGO with medium settings as well as roughly 40 frames per second in Fortnite with equivalent settings. Of course it doesn't compare to a dedicated graphic chip but a nice boost of FPS nonetheless for no additional hardware. At the time of this video we're not sure what chips are going to be offering the Iris Plus but we can bet it will probably be a top tier option. Although a few various mobile devices right now will have these chips later on this year they won't hit mainstream devices until roughly 2020 with no word on when they're going to be available for desktop use. And that wraps up today's video bringing us into our question of the day. How do you feel about the new Ice Like processors? Leave your answers in the comment section below the video. If you liked the video or found this video informative give it a thumbs up and be sure to check out some of the other videos that we do have on this channel. We do a lot of how-tos, a lot of tutorials, all the way from tech tips, all the way over to tech news. I'll link a couple over on the right-hand side of your screen. And of course, don't forget to subscribe, which you can do so by clicking subscribe over there on the left and enable the bell notifications because you guys wouldn't want to miss out on any type of future content. And we will see you on the next one.